Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be, finally, the Lego Rapunzel's Tower review. In this set, it's going to be 369 pieces, there's going to be a lot of stickers, there's going to be a, a lot of pretty much everything in this set. Um, it's set number 43187, and it's part of the Disney Princess lineup. Um, there's three, mi there's two mini dolls, there's three characters. Well, there's also Pas the Pascal, which is the other character. Um, there's gonna be three different builds. It's gonna be the main build, obviously, which is Rapunzel's Tower. And there is a Snuggly Duckling over here, and like a little swing you can where you can put Rapunzel on it. It's, it's gonna cost sixty dollars at retail. And let's get into the minifigure. In this set, as I said, there is two mini dolls, and one character, and one other character. The first mini doll is going to be a Flynn Rider. He has a little sword. There's not too much to this figure. I like the his face though. But besides that, that's pretty much Flynn Rider. And after that, we got Rapunzel herself right here. She's going to have a cool little hairpiece right here. This is a special hairpiece. It has some bows in it. It's, it's there's not too much to this figure. It's pretty much a Rapunzel. That's what you wanted in a Rapunzel's tower. Let's get on to Pascal. So this is my favorite figure for the bunch. It's Pascal. He has pretty much everything for a chameleon. Um, the only thing missing from the set, I would say, for the mini dolls would be a Maximus. I. I think Maximus should have been in this set because of Flynn Rider and a Snuggly Duckling. But besides that, that's pretty much it for the mini dolls and the, and the one other character. Let's get into the Snuggly Duckling. For the Snuggly Duckling, you're going to get a little cool build, which I think is the second best build besides the tower. Um, there's going to be a little bit of design. You're going to get a little rubber ducky right there. Um, we're also going to have a sign with this is a snuggly duckling on it. On the interior, there is a little doorway or a window right there, and there's also a window on this side of the build. There's going to be a picture of the pirate that plays the piano, and that's pretty much it for the inside. There's also supposed to be like kind of like bull horns right there. Let's get on to the swing. For the swing, there's not really that much to it. There is, like, movability for the swing, but there's not really too much design to it. There is this cool wanted poster that has Flynn Rider's head on it, but nothing really else. Let's get on to the main build, which is the tower. So, for the Lego Rapunzel's tower, you're gonna have this. It's gonna be like look really cool in person. Might well, not look as cool in on this camera because uh, it's not as light in here as it should be. It has this cool mechanism where the door opens up and you can walk your mini dolls or Pascal inside. Also the balcony where um, um, Rapunzel lets down her hair, and then we also have. In interior, it's a five or six story building, depending on what you're counting. It has the bottom floor where the evil, the evil like adoptive mother does some, does some evil things down there. Then we have where the area where Rapunzel brushes her hair. There is a little brush in there you can take out and make her brush her hair. It's like a wine glass and a fire pit. Also, this is where Rapunzel sleeps, and after that, we also, we got like this weird kitchen area with the pan that Rapunzel uses as a weapon in the movie. Then we also have the main room, where there is a little painting area for Rapunzel where she's painted Maximus, where there really should have been a Maximus um, horse in this. And we also have like a little kitchen area over there. Then this would be the fifth floor, where there is an area for Rapunzel to paint the stars, as she does, I believe, in the movie. Then this technically could be a sixth floor, because it's where a little crown is. But 
that's pretty much the whole entire tower in all of its beauty. That was the Lego Rapunzel's review. I want to know what you think of the whole entire tower and everything like that. Do you think there should have been a Maximus figure in this or not? But that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.